have been wanting to show you this type of video for so long. I've been waiting for Christmas. So yeah, basically I'm going to be showing you guys what I got Anthem for Christmas. I'm ready to start wrapping everything. So I wanted to show you before I wrapped it. I didn't have like a set list or ideas of what I wanted. I just basically shopped around at my favorite stores and picked out things that she doesn't have already. So I kind of buy her stuff throughout the year. So I didn't want to get her too much. And now that I'm looking at everything, I kind of got a lot. I will try to link where I got everything if I can remember. I'm going to start off with these babies. So these were from Bohemian Mama. Bohemian Mama is probably one of my favorite stores for her as far as kids' toys, not clothes. They have clothes and stuff too. I love their toys. Bohemian Mama has just so much. They're a little pricey, but the quality is so good. So these are the mini cane babies and they're super popular a lot of stores sell them i liked their options so i've ordered their clothes their clothes haven't come in yet but this one's a boy and this one's a girl so super super cute i love them i actually am trying to order a baby a little wooden baby bed that comes with them for her christmas but they were out of stock so i don't know if i'll get the baby bed in in time but that's originally what i wanted with these and then i got their clothes off of etsy i'll share those probably on Instagram whenever they come in. I ordered probably half her stuff from Amazon just because it's easy, it comes in fast. I got her a harmonica. She has one at my mom's house and I wanted her to have her own here because she's really, really good at it. So it's just like a tiny little harmonica for kids. And this was from Amazon. And then at the top, I ordered these little ring flashcards. These are counting ones. So I just thought these were really good for her, for learning her numbers. She honestly, she can already count to 10. So I don't know if they go up to like 20 or 26, but these are perfect for learning. I'm pretty sure this was from Amazon. These are little um, do a dot art. So instead of like drawing something, you just dot it and it's really, really cool. I saw some pictures of it and I just couldn't pass it up. She loves art stuff. So I figured this would be perfect. If you know her at all, you know she's obsessed with Peppa Pig. So I got her sunglasses and a little sunglass case that is covered in Peppa. And this is from Amazon. This will probably be her favorite present and it's probably the most inexpensive one. But I thought this was really cute. She can just have this around the house, lose them, break them, whatever she wants to do. And then I really wanted her to have some musical instruments. She kind of has some baby ones that she's outgrowing. So I wanted her to have like the next step up. I was gonna get her a little guitar, but they didn't have her the size for her. They had the size up. So I just am gonna hold off on that for her birthday. But Thurman got this little mini keyboard for her so he can start teaching her notes and music and stuff. Originally I wanted a white one, but this baby blue was so cute. So got her a little keyboard. These were on sale. I don't know if they're still on sale, but she has one already and she's obsessed with it. It's the polka dot pop books. I don't care how old you are. Everybody loves these books. Like we love them. I love doing them with her. So each one is really interactive and you pop it um, per page. So each page like has a little popping thing. So I got her a big one. These are little tiny travel ones. You can bring them to people's houses or whatever and i'll put these in her stocking probably next thing i got this is from the tot this is uh, my first puzzle pairs so basically you pair the color with the animal to kind of teach them colors and stuff so if you can see in the back it's kind of like the brown bear book that we have already so that's what it looks like super cute little cards they can do the next thing i got which was so cute this is from the tot too it's a little geometric fishing game. They're little, it's basically, I didn't really open it yet, but it's like little magnets on the fish and you have a little fishing rod and so you can like dip down and like get a fish or whatever. So I thought those were really cute. See, this seems like a lot, but I feel like whenever she opens it, it's not gonna be that much, I don't know. The next thing I got, I can't remember if this was from Amazon or the Tot but she loves to do my credit card when we go to the store. And so I got her her own little cash register, which is so cute. I can also teach her about counting and stuff like that. So it's just another great way to learn. The next thing I got, she obviously, if you can see, she already has this kitchen. So I'm constantly getting her like food and stuff for it and dishes. But I found these at Target from the Hearth and Hand section with Joanna Gaines. These are just little cute cupcakes wooden cupcakes and um she's just gonna love these 
She loves to give people food, so she'll like playing with this for her kitchen. Well, I haven't gotten this in yet. I ordered it kind of late because they were out of stock, but I got her a wooden dollhouse. And instead of getting these really expensive dolls, I went ahead and got, Target has the best stuff right now. So Target has these little ornaments um, for $3. And they're so cute. They have like this little person there's like three little sheep and then there's like a mermaid and um, like a nutcracker guy. And then also Target has these cute little trees. So I just got her a bunch of those for the dollhouse and she could like kind of play with them like that. And then also all these little animals for $3. So I got her a ton of animals to have in the dollhouse too. So, um, and all you do is just take, it's an ornament so you can just take this little string off like that and then it's a little animal okay so on top of that i got her um i think this was from walmart but it is a wood like wooden house kit or like accessory kit so basically you can make like chairs and a bed tables a bathtub a little kitchen so this is going to be for her dollhouse but i have to like build them i have to like put them together so that's gonna be really cute. I hope it's good quality. I don't really know how this is gonna turn out. Okay, the next thing I got were these cute little pots and pans. Like when I say these are so teeny tiny, um, these are gonna be for her dollhouse too so she can cook and stuff with them. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys, other than dollhouse that's not here yet, her big, big ticket item is a bike. I'm gonna show you guys her helmet first. Her cute little helmet for her bike. I got one that was kind of a little bit big. It might be a little big on her for the first couple months, um, but it's definitely something she could grow into and it has training wheels. We just have to like build it and stuff. But I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's not like put together yet. I still have to like adjust all of this stuff, but you can make this seat go really, really low um, so that she'll be able to fit on it as like an almost two year old. And then there's the training wheels that come with it. And this was also from the Tot. And they sell these at a lot of different places. I loved the colors. I love the seat color. So cute. I loved riding bikes when I was little. So I feel like she'll really enjoy this for a long time. So that is it as far as her presents. I feel like it's not an overwhelming amount. A lot of the things she'll use for a long time. So I just really wanted everything to last and to be good quality. So I want to show you guys really quick. I wanted to show you guys how I'm wrapping her presents this year. So instead of doing wrapping paper and wasting all the paper and all of that kind of stuff, I had some cheesecloth that I got probably over a year ago for her birthday that we never had. So I have so many different colors and sizes, but I'll just show you this one. I've already done a couple of them, but I like fold it however you want to fold it. And then I'll put one of her toys like this, and then I literally tie it once and then I tie it again like that and then you can tuck in whatever side you want to tuck in and then what I like to do I'll probably do a little name tag I'll also dry out some oranges or lemon slices and then you can do a little label and tag on it and have it hanging so that's pretty much it super simple and, and it is helping save the planet because I'm not using so much paper um, and I can reuse these cheesecloths in my house for everything. Also what I like to do is take like some dried flowers. All you do is just stick it inside where you knotted it and find out where the hole is. Um, and this is just another option for like the girls and stuff like girl gifts and you can have the little flowers in it too. So really cute option if you're not wanting to spend the time wrapping paper this is so much easier than wrapping paper and taping it and buying all of the stuff for that so super easy i will show you guys where i got the cheesecloth i got some on etsy and then i got some on amazon so one more option for wrapping i got these grocery bag reusable bags from amazon and what you can do is i don't think this one's big enough hold on and what you do is stick whatever gift you want in it. You can wrap it with tissue paper if you don't want it to be see-through. And this is another option for a gift. So you can wrap the baby in tissue paper so you don't see it if you want. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some ideas for your kids or family members for Christmas. I think it doesn't have to be extravagant, just something that's simple, 
good quality and something they can definitely like grow into over time and not just something they're gonna have for a couple months. So I loved all this stuff and I'm really excited for it opening.